Hi guys, welcome to Photo Tutorials. I've got another um, text tutorial for you. And in this particular uh, tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create um, like a gold metallic text with like a gold border um, against a black background, what we've got here. Uh, maybe show you how to do a little bit wider border, but the quite simple to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, I'm going to open a file and I'm going to go to New and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Transparent because we're going to work on the text first and then we're going to do the background after and then overlay the text onto the background. So I'm going to open the Transparent background and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the text tool which is down here and I'm just going to click and drag my text box over there like so now to get the gold effect what we do is we go into the color palette tool which is on the top of the Adobe Photoshop toolbar at the top here you're going to click on that and we get this color palette down here and you can see it goes through all the gamuts of colors there and obviously what we want to do is we want to try and hit this um, sort of yellowy orange as it goes over from yellow to, to orange this is what we want to be doing is clicking on something like this I think we'll leave it at that then all we're going to do is we're just going to write our text like so and we're just going to click the tick at the top to commit the edit to that particular layer like so and click on that move tool and we'll just move that down there that'll do us there in fact I think what we'll do is maybe just background slightly okay so now we've got our text there now I'll explain to you a little bit about the background um, the image that I showed you is the sample that had a black background um, you, you can use a black background when you're opening for your layers and using that because obviously when you've got to transfer one layer to another you've got the black background which is just going onto another black background but the problem with that is if you go onto the tool palette here uh, and if you have a look at where this actual picker is it's set right in that corner right in the far corner for the black what it is if you don't get the the other layer exactly the same colour as the underlay you'll get two different shades, shades of black so basically uh, I like to just use the transparent layer because anything that you do on this layer um, it's, it, that is the only thing that's going to be transferred over to the background so basically that's what we're going to do we're going to use the transparent layer once we've got that we right click and I'll just show you something as well what we don't do is if you look at this layers palette here you can see we've got the the text symbol with a square border and we've got the name gold rush what we don't want to do is we don't want to be putting the pointer inside of that text box because if you click it you get a different panel comes up altogether if you look at that panel and then look at that panel um, there's, there's certain tools uh, in this in this panel which you don't get in that panel so we're going to use them two we, two different choices later on we'll use the other one for the background but basically what we do is right click where it says gold rush and we come to blending options now once we come into blending options we click on the bevel emboss and we double click it and there you've got your structure box and your shading box now it's set the inner bevel 
I'm just going to cancel it because I want to zoom up onto that a bit more. There we go. <clears throat> that will do me. I always like to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. So there we go. We click on the bevel and emboss box in the uh, blend and options. And what we do is we, I'm just going to leave it set to smooth and in a bevel. You can muck about with those later, but for to get the metallic gold, the metallic look, we just, we're just going to use depth. Leave the direction set to up, and we're going to use the size and the soften tools. And that's all we're going to use in the structure box. And as you can see, it's defaulted to 100% the depth, and we're just going to move that up. So maybe it's around about 500 thereabouts. We can adjust it later. You can play about with them to get the different fields that you like. So that's six pixels there. So for this, I'm just going to leave that, I think I'll probably leave that soften at zero. I quite like that the way that is. So here we've got the depth set to 480%, we've got the size set to 8 pixels, and we've softened it by zero pixels because we're not going to touch it. So we've left the style of inner bevel, we've left the technique on smooth, and we've adjusted the depth, we've left the direction set to up, sized it to 8 pixels and all we're going to do now is we're going to go down to the shading box, we're going to go onto this box here, the square box with the two diagonal halves called the gloss contours box and we're going to click on that arrow there. Now I'm not going to go through all of these with you because there's usually only two that we need um, for sort of liquefying or doing a metallic text and basically it's this second tone curve here and the one directly underneath it so it's the second top left and the second bottom left so either that one there or that one there okay and this one which is one that I've clicked on is the one that we normally use to get the metallic gold effect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it at that click OK and as you can see we've got that lovely gold effect coming through on that text looks nice and rich nice and sharp and it's got it's got the shadows what you would expect for the normal metallic gold look I'm writing to have so once we've done that I'm going to save it and I'm going to save it as a TIFF because I don't like a Photoshop documents for some reason it's just just the way I am and I'm just going to title that because I've got another one there I showed you earlier. I'm going to title it Gold 2. And I'm going to click OK. Again, I showed you in earlier tutorials, we always get this box coming up, including layers will increase file size. Again, we all know that. Um, but we just click OK anyway. And we close it. And we just leave that for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to concentrate on the background. And we're going to do the same again. We're going to click on our new layer, but we're going to change the transparent background to a black background. Now, as you can see, it'll say black background, white transparent, or you can go your foreground color. Well, as you can see, I'm going to click on the background color because if you look down here where my pointer is, bottom right hand side, if you can see where my mouse pointer is here this is the foreground layer and this is the background layer so my background color is already set to black so I'm going to click on OK and that's sorry click that first I'm going to click on OK and there's our our black background and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the zoom down and what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to create our gold border. And I'll show you how to create the gold border. Because we're going to give the border the same effect as we gave the right. And we're going to make it look like a gold metallic look. And I'll show you how to do that. 
first of all we click on image and we go down to canvas size we click on canvas size and before we adjust any of these we need to change our uh, extension color and there's the color we were set up before I'm sure it might have been a little bit lighter or darker just make it darker and I'm going to click OK with that Um, what I want to do is I'm going to set this to inches because just to make this stand out I'm going to give it I'm going to see what it looks like first with just a half an inch gold border and if we don't if I don't like the look of it I'll just basically undo it that's okay that's a half an inch border okay now what we're going to do <coughs> we're going to right click on this black box in the layer before I told you about the um, the, back, the 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 layer where we had the text where it said it said gold rush here and then we had this little black box. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the black right click on the back box if you like. And what we need to do is we need to go onto this top. I'll just show, before I actually show you which what to, what to do just now. If I click on that background there, oh sorry, it's um, it's because I've got nothing adjusted. It's okay. We, we're just going to click on this um, top setting here where it says layer from background okay and the reason why we're going to layer from the background is because we want to make an adjustment just click OK on that the reason why we're doing the layer from background is because we want to make an adjustment on this actual border okay now once we've made the adjustment on this border we can then click right click now, before we weren't getting this blending options mode up. When we were right clicking it, we were just getting this small box up and our top option was layer from background. But now what we can do is we can go on to blending options and we can go into our the same tools as we used before. And we can give this play about and as you can see it's sort of moving towards the gold effect you can see where we're going with that and we just click on that same tool as we did before okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a little bit off the soften And give a little bit more size okay and I'm going to click OK now then once I've clicked OK that's our gold metallic border on the black background done what we need to do now is we need to go up to this layers palette up, up the top here our layers tool sorry we need to click on it and we need to come all the way down to the bottom and click flatten image that puts everything we've done back into one layer again now what we're going to do we're going to go back into image we're going to click back on canvas size we're going to change our extension color back to black now what we need to do is get that right in the corner like I said before click OK and we're going to change this to inches what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the outside to 4 inches the same as the height as the width 4 inches and then I'm going to click OK <coughs> excuse me and there we've got our black box now can you see where I've got the difference in colour like I had before what we can do is we can undo, undo that and we can go back into canvas and we can just lighten that click on the wrong one we can lighten that black just to sort of blend into the we'll 
go with that. But we've got to reset all of this again. Go four inches and four inches. Again, it's a bit of trial and error. We'll just leave it at that, I think. But you can see what you've got to do, as I was explained earlier, um, when, when you're dragging that background over, you do have to be careful what you're doing, and obviously it's the same as when, you, when you're doing this. You've got to make sure that you try and get the, um, the background colours um, the same the same colour if you can um, but that's something yours can work on um, when you're giving this a go yourself so now all we need to do is we need to go to file open and there's our our text palette there what we're going to do is just going to pull that down there and click on the, while this layer is still open, while your text layer is still open, click on the move tool which is here and all you do is click and drag that over and as you can see if you look at the pointer here you get this little plus sign with a square that co comes under behind it that tells you that your layer is being dragged over and there you've got your text inside there all we do is we just scale it up a bit and I'll just show you what I'm doing as I'm scaling if you look up the top here just ignore that box there for now um, in fact I'll cancel it if you look the width and the height the the height of the pixels is set at 140% and the width is 125%. What we need to do is we need to get those two figures exactly the same because it, it alters the perspective of the way that your, your text comes out so it'll either be elongated on one side or it'll, be, it'll look, look sort of compressed on the other side so we need to try and equal it out to keep, keep the orientation the same on the top and bottom and the left and right but as long as we get it somewhere near to the 140 I'm 0.5% out there so I'm going to just leave it at that and then what we do we just put that in there like so and then once we've got that done we layer it click on layer and we flatten the image and as you can see we're back onto one layer again and that's how you do your metallic gold text and your metallic gold borders it's a simple exercise and quite effective look you can make some really nice photographs from the for the family home using this technique and uh, once you've got those you know you can you, you don't have to put text inside that box you know the text can uh, the text can drop down onto this little box here you could put it you could layer a photograph in there and then you know you can add a, a custom border create a nice border yourself get them printed off to your lab and you've just made yourself a cracking little photograph with a with a, a border already printed onto the image give it a go and thanks for watching photo tutorials